Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to talk to you about this little pouch I have here. This is a first aid kit that I put together myself. Um, I call it my everyday carry pack. This is something that I can hook on my backpack because it has the molly gear. Um, I can toss it in my truck. I can toss it into a backpack because of the size and smallness of it. So I wanted to go through some of the elements of this bag, show them to you. I'll list them out in the video. So if you want to put together your own first aid kit from this um, items in this bag, you're more than welcome to. This bag has the molly on the outside. So if you still want to put some more molly attachments on the outside of the bag, you can. Also has a nice molly here on the back. This is very rigid. I like that about this bag. So it doesn't flop over, doesn't want to lean when you attach it to your backpack, you attach it to your gear bag. Also has the grommet on the bottom, so if anything spills or leaks or if it's raining really hard, all that's just going to leak out the bottom of the bag. And it's got some nice heavy duty zippers here, which are double stitched. There. I usually keep my zippers in the middle. It's just personal preference, that way I know where they're at. And then when I need them, it's just a simple unfold and open my bag. This back here has the uh, elastic bands to kind of keep it somewhat organized. When you go, it just doesn't fall open, everything falls out. This bag is not designed to carry everything that you could ever possibly need. This is just something that I put together that you commonly may need, commonly may use, and just it's an everyday carry pack. First thing we're going to go through here is I do have some quick clot, and this is for emergencies only. This is for life threatening uh, bleeding that I can't get controlled any other way then I can control it this way with the clip quad. I have a nice pair of EMS scissors here. These are able to cut clothing. They're also able to cut pennies in half, which is a really cool trick if you need to. Um, you never know when you might need a good pair of scissors. You don't have your pocket knife handy. So I always keep a pair of scissors with me in my backpack. First thing they taught you in first responder class or first aid class is about PPE if you've taken one of those classes. So I keep an extra pair of gloves with me. I keep more than one pair because I have a pair for me and a pair for whoever's willing to help me. So I always keep several pair of gloves. If you're in a bad situation, you can give gloves out and say, here, put these on. I need some help. I keep two rolls of gauze in here, clean, uh, roller clean. This is to help secure bandaging, just to keep it clean. Uh, once you get it bandaged, it's going to help keep it clean, and then to secure your bandaging onto the wound. I keep a couple of different size bandages in here. These are five by nines. These are a little bit bigger, uh, more aggressive bleeding control. And these are four by fours. These are a little more than a band-aid, but not as quite as thick as a five by nine. And I keep two triangle bandages in here. Also come with some safety pins if you need those as well. These are great for shoulder injuries, joint injuries. Um, like I said, joint being elbows and knees. Uh, you can and mobilize them great with these. Keep a couple of butterfly closures. These are great for just closing up wounds that may need a stitch or two, but you're not in a situation, you're not in an area where you can go straight to get stitches. These will help keep the wound closed and help pull it tight. Of course, every good first aid kit needs a few band-aids. That's what majority of what you're going to be using out of this anyway. Everybody's like, I need a band-aid. So keep a few band-aids with you.
keep a roll of tape. This is a cloth tape that tears really easy here and is great for wrapping wounds, securing bandaging with. I picked these up the other day as well. These are for bee stings uh, and insect bites. You break the little glass piece and rub it on the wound and it's going to take care of the itching and the pain that's caused with bee stings and insect bites. Great for hiking, uh, you're out on the trail. These are very, very handy. Got a couple ointments for triple antibiotic ointments here for the nasty cuts that you know look dirty. Uh, if you can put this on, this will at least help you to the point where you can get, where you can wash it, clean it, um, try to keep some of the infection down. With trying to clean the wounds, I've got a few alcohol swabs. Yes, this is going to burn, it's going to hurt, but it's trying to keep the infection down, trying to keep it clean. So if you'll wipe it down with alcohol and then put the ointment, triple antibiotic ointment on and then bandage it, it will be better for long term for you. Also keep some ibuprofen on hand for pain, for pain reliever as well as fever. And then I have aspirin as well. This is 325. This is adult dose. But the ibuprofen is also single adult use as well. And of course, when you're hiking, you're out in the woods, it's always nice to have some Benadryl on hand. So this is 50 milligrams of Benadryl on hand. That way, if I get into something that's going to give me an allergic reaction, I can go ahead and take it and be prepared for it. So I do carry a few medications with me. Like I said, this is, I have Benadryl, aspirin, and ibuprofen, all single adult use here. Gives you a little bit better shot of the bag here. It's got the a nice elastic straps here. This is for my bigger components. And then here goes all the way down. And it's got little smaller components here to keep your smaller items. It even has a nice little hidden pouch here that you can stick things into if you needed to. Me personally, I think this is a great everyday carry first aid kit. I think it would get the job done in the normal situation. If you're in a WRL situation or a crap hits the fan situation, these supplies are going to be wiped out instantly. So as far as a big disaster first aid kit, a, a kit that would serve for a WRL or a kit that would serve for a crap hits the fan situation, this is not it. You've got to multiply all these items and quite a few more items I would carry in that bag. But as far as an everyday carry, I think this is a good range of items to carry. Hope this video helps you never know you'll be the first responder.